The very first of the Ten Commandments given by God on Mount Sinai says, You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus 20 verse 3. False gods take on many forms, but let's consider this. The Bible is very clear that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There's evidence for creation everywhere you turn. In terms of consistency and design, the incredible variety we see, the remarkable ways systems work, the complexity of an eye or the circulatory system or the brain or a flower or a bird or reproduction or your lungs, your larynx, your lymphatic system. They're outrageously genius and exquisitely complex. It's irrational to think they could have self-generated out of nothing without an external cause. Irrational. It's certainly not an academic position. A universe coming into existence out of nothing. It's hard to imagine nothing, but evolutionary theory teaches there was nothing at all, and then there was everything, and that various species evolved over time, that some animals lived in oceans, but eventually relocated on dry land and grew legs, for example. Again, that's not rational. Now, one might say the idea of there being a God who created everything is irrational. You can understand someone balking at the idea of there being a God, but the idea of creation isn't irrational at all. It's logical. Of course the universe didn't get here on its own, but after many decades of determined propaganda on the part of many educators and scientists, we're at the place where evolutionary theory has become quite simply a God, and for many, a convenient way out of accountability to the God of heaven. The idea of evolutionary theory is quite simply a God for many, many people. There's only one God, the Creator God. Don't let anything come between you and Him and his word. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written.